hi guys and welcome back to a brand new video now i actually planned to start this vlog in the morning um, but i epically failed so i'm so sorry guys it is now half past three <laughs> um, I'm not, and i'm starting the vlog now um but basically it's just a really quick video and i just kind of want to update you on some wedding updates which is really exciting um but basically i traveled back um, to my family home last night, um, which was Saturday, what's the date today? It is Sunday the 15th of March today. So I traveled back late last night to my parents um, because I had a meeting with the florist this morning and she came round to the house. She's actually a good friend of my mum's, um, so it's really nice because it's someone that we know um, and it's really, it's just so exciting to like chat through all the ideas I have and everything. So I'm gonna have a little chat about that and what we discussed. So she popped around at about 10 and then at 12, um, two of my bridesmaids came over because I found a bridesmaid dress. So I'm so excited. So they tried on the dress. They both loved it, which is amazing. Um, so yeah, we tried them on. So I'll show you what dress they're planning on wearing. And yeah, I've got one other bridesmaid, Ellie, coming over later um, because she couldn't make it in the afternoon, so she's going to try it on. And then all being well, and it fits, and it's nice, and she likes it, then I'm sorted. I've got all three bridesmaid dresses sorted, which I'm so happy about um, because I absolutely love them. And then I just need to get a junior bridesmaid dress, and then that's all, that's all done. So I feel like today's been a really productive day. Um, with moving along with the wedding. Um, so obviously today is Sunday the 15th of March. Um, so I don't know when this video is going out and I don't know what's happening um, with the world, with coronavirus. Um, basically, we took out wedding insurance. Uh, we're not getting married until August. So still a long way away, but we thought it was best to get out wedding insurance just in case. And yeah, at the moment I'm not really panicking about it um obviously it's like in the back of my mind like it is with everyone but I think the best thing to do is to just keep going and you know luckily it is quite a few months away um I don't think I have anything to be worried about but you know you never know but I think just for my own <laughs> you know, mental well-being, it's just good to keep going, keep planning, keep getting excited about it and yeah, just try and not let it affect it too much. Um, I'm obviously so gutted for people whose weddings have had to be changed or if they were abroad um, and all things like that. Um, yeah, it's really sad but hopefully it will all blow over soon and um, yeah, if people had to reschedule, they could reschedule and yeah, it's a tough time, tough time at the moment. Like we've chatted about it loads. I feel like every conversation kind of leads back to it um, because it's just such a big thing in the world right now. Um, and obviously I don't know when this video is going up, so it might have changed, a lot might have changed um, by the time this has gone up. But yeah, at the moment my work is still open. Obviously it is a place of mass gatherings. So I don't know, by the time this video has gone up, there might be an update on that and it might have closed. Um, but at the moment it is still open. So we're just carrying on as normal. And yeah, just kind of trying to look out for more vulnerable people, friends and family wise. And yeah, that's all we can do really. Um, yeah. So yeah, I will take you downstairs and I'll show you the bridesmaid dresses and then I'll also show you a few of the ideas that we've had for flowers um, because yeah, I wanted to document every little bit of the wedding so I thought I'd update you guys on this. So these are the bridesmaid dresses and they are just so stunning. I love them. Um, so we got them from Debenhams. I'm gonna take it down and gonna lay it out on the bed. So this is the dress. Obviously it looks so much nicer when it's on because um, it's very floaty, um, but the color is absolutely gorgeous. It's this really pale uh, pastel green. And basically I'm going for real pastel um, colors. That's kind of the theme of the wedding. So like pastel greens, pastel pinks, pastel purple, pastel yellow. 
so this would just work perfectly I'll try and so you can just see like the floatiness of it um, but it's beautiful the sleeves are like really floaty tie and then it's just a wrap around um, really long but shorter at the front so it gives a really nice shape try and hang it up here um, yeah shorter at the front it needs a good steam so that will all happen before the big day but yeah they loved it they look beautiful in it um, and then you know have like hair up uh, a couple of little flowers in the hair bouquets uh, with ribbons coming off and yeah it's just gonna look so stunning I'm so excited <laughs> this corner as well is just full of wedding stuff that my mum's collected and is keeping safe for us <laughs> so you got just so much things that like we've just collected over the past year so one of our ideas is that we're going to have flip-flops um, so that people can change from their heels into flip-flops in the evening. So we got them in all different colours. So this is gold for small, uh, pink for large, flowery for medium. So you just went to Primark and picked them up. And then everyone will have a pair of flip-flops for their holidays because <laughs> uh, they can take them home. So basically we've got loads of flip-flops. <laughs> Um, we just picked up really pretty things like this can be used somewhere we actually picked these up from the pound shop um, so we're gonna like put jars with like gypsophilia and flowers in uh, we got these which are like rustic looking trays that we can put confetti in um, we've got lanterns uh, more lanterns down there loads of jars <laughs> um, which we're gonna decorate and also put flowers and things in we've got bottles which we can use for the same uh, this is full of bunting which we can use to decorate the um teepee um yeah these are the bags they're recyclable bags um which we're going to put confetti in uh this is more bunting oh just dropped it down the side that's not good and um, this sign says follow your heart but i thought it might look cute up somewhere uh, this is on the pound shop so basically all that stuff even if we don't end up using it um it's all stuff that we got from the pound shop or people have kindly just given it to us so yeah it's just like inexpensive stuff that we've just collected and hopefully we will use but if not it's not really a big deal um yeah i'm just getting so excited it's so much fun like planning and yeah we've also had some really fun ideas for the tables um, but I'm actually going to keep that a secret until the day because I don't want to give it away to the guests um, but I also want it to be a bit of a surprise um, for you guys as well um, but yeah we've had some really fun ideas for the table names and the favours so I'm very excited about them so I've just grabbed the ribbons to show you uh, we picked these up actually from a lady who lives near my mum and we got a really good deal on them so i'm super excited um this is kind of one of the things that i just always wanted at the wedding um, i think i saw it on a pinterest account um, when i first started looking at wedding um like inspiration and it's um ribbons coming off of chairs and what i'm thinking for the aisle is having so it's an outside venue um i'll pop the link in the bio to our wedding venue um, open day because that shows the venue um, so you can get a better idea of what I'm explaining but basically it's an outside venue and there's a long um, aisle to the gazebo where we get married so we're having wooden benches um, in front of the gazebo but then we're going to have a seat a chair at the end of every bench framing the aisle if that makes sense and then on the back of those chairs there's going to be ribbon and lace so it kind of frames the aisle um as i walk down so i'll quickly show you on my phone the kind of vibe we're going for with the chairs so this isn't the right chair this is just a chair from my mum's dining room um so if you can see we're going to have all pastel ribbons coming off the back of the chair um, it won't have these um, the chairs are like normal wooden chairs without um, extra wood coming down so it's just going to be um, see-through here and yeah they're just going to 
cascade down to the floor um but i love it i love the colors so these are all the ribbons that we've got we've got a uh, pastel blue pastel green a pastel uh pastel purple that is like a lilac this is one of my favorites it's like a lemon pastel yellow and then we've got like a coral color which is beautiful um so that that's kind of like the palette i'm going for so all pastel shades um absolutely stunning and then we also picked up some lace from amazon um this is like stunning lace um so that is it roughly gonna put lace in between just to kind of break up the colors so yeah hopefully they'll be like swaying in the wind um framing the aisle as i walk down um but yeah i think it's gonna look really pretty and then this is just an image of um another wedding um but we're thinking of having uh paper lanterns in the gazebo as well so a bit like this but pastel colors and we're also having paper lanterns in the teepee uh with some greenery all around them so yeah it's all going to follow the same kind of festivally outdoorsy magical pastel feel of the wedding <laughs> um, but yeah it's gonna look really cute oh this is like all my inspiration uh thinking of having i love gypsophilia so we're thinking of having that on the tables a lot of wood as well kind of tying it all in um and then for bouquets I found this image which I absolutely adore and we're kind of working around this bouquet or the pastel pink, pastel um, like orangey that's similar to this kind of ribbon colour um, it's like a coral colour so yeah like that's kind of I was chatting with a florist today about all these different types of roses um, orchids and yeah, kind of, I want my bouquet to drop down like this one. And then the bridesmaids are going to have uh, more upstanding bouquets. But I just love this image and I just love the vibe. I like that it's all wild flowers as well. And then with uh, this ribbon as well, as well as being on the chairs, I'm also actually going to use it with the bouquets, if that focuses. Yeah. So like, say I had this bouquet, I'm then gonna have some lace and some ribbons dropping down. So it's also gonna incorporate it into the bouquets. Um, Cause I just think that will look really pretty and it will tie it all in together. So yeah, it's a really good initial chat with the florist and she's going to um, kind of draw up all the roses that we looked at. And then I'm basically gonna choose what flowers I definitely want in the bouquets. Um, and for the top table and stuff like that. And then, yeah, we're gonna have another meeting and start putting it together, which is so exciting. But yeah, it was really good to like initially chat through what I want and how to achieve it because I'm not a florist, so I had no idea like what was actually possible. I look at all these Pinterest pictures and I'm like, oh, that's beautiful, but I don't know, can you actually make that? <laughs> or is it gonna be like thousands and thousands of pounds? Um, but there's definitely ways of like working it out so you can do it on more of a budget um, and I quite like that because our venue is outdoors we have so much natural flowers and natural greenery that you really don't need that much um, because it will all just start to blend in together and I think with that much greenery around might as well make use of that like we don't need to have a million other flowers as well um, so we're basically just focusing on the bouquets and then a little bit in the teepee. Um, but apart from that, we're having quite minimal flowers because there's going to be so many beautiful flowers in the gardens because it's summer as well. So yeah, that's kind of where we're at wedding wise. So I just wanted to update you guys. I'll probably carry on vlogging. I'm just going to have some dinner here. Um, Ellie's going to come over and try on her bridesmaid dress. And then my dad is very kindly giving me a lift um, back to my flat. So yeah, I think I'll carry on vlogging for a little bit. Uh, vlogging the evening. I'm just going to have dinner here. And then I'm going to head back to uh, the flat to see Martin. And update him all on the flowers and the bridesmaid dresses and everything. 
Um, but yeah, it's really exciting and I'm just so happy that the bridesmaids love the dresses um, because I absolutely love them. And with like these kind of colours, you can just see that it all ties in so well. So yeah, very excited. Oh yeah, Yorkshire puddings. Crazy hair. <laughs> Just gonna turn off. We're just watching Eleanor dreaming. God, Martin was watching it. Crazy old Maurice. Hello. I'm so sorry. I was so useless, and I didn't film anything after I said I was gonna film the rest of the day. <laughs> All I filmed was um, the Yorkshire puddings. <laughs> you had Yorkshire pudding. I did. I'm happy to be back home with Martin Bell. <laughs> Why did you just use my full name? <laughs> Don't know. <laughs> <laughs> we think we're going to watch a nice Disney film to try and chill. Because uh, we're feeling a little bit anxious, aren't we? A little bit. Um, I think it's just an anxious time for everyone. As I said at the beginning of the vlog. Um, so I think we're just going to do some, you know, self self-care and just try and watch something nice and which yeah. one then i don't know which one a disney film which one we haven't got disney plus yet no that's next week and now frozen um two is coming out early that's next week much disney plus i know and frozen do i know and the imagineer story uh, there's, there's tons don't start listing and a day them now disney. don't start listing them we'll be here all night and disney fairy tale no. weddings Oh, no. <laughs> right, let's go film a dis let's go film a Disney film. Now. Let's go choose a Disney film. <laughs> Come on guys, you can help us choose. Can you show them our new table? Oh yeah, I will actually. Okay. So these are our Disney Blu-rays. We've got more. I know. I mean we've got a lot, but we're gonna have even more with Disney Plus. <laughs> <laughs> I wanna watch the rescuers. We don't have that. I know about that when we get Disney. Oh, okay. I think we're gonna go for. Hmm. This is hard. <laughs> well, recently we watched Zootopia, Hunchback, Tangled. Mm. So we'll take them out of the equation. I'm thinking a bit of a wild card, but I'm thinking. Okay, I've got out of two. Okay. Inside Out mm -hmm. or Ratatouille? Oh, I went very Pixar. I just kicked the table. Um, Ratatouille. Ratatouille! Because it will remind me of uh, Paris. Yeah. Yay, okay. So I'm going to watch Ratatouille and put him there. And my mum actually found on Facebook Marketplace a table and chairs. So we've got a table and chairs in our kitchen. Excuse the mess, but I'm going to show you. Voila, here it is. So this is just from Facebook Marketplace. So we got it for like a matter of pounds. That was it. Um, yeah, it's a glass table. So that fits perfectly in the kitchen. Um, and then we got these chairs, which was so cheap. They do need a bit of a um, repaint and a little cushion to make them comfy. But we have a little table in the corner. Please mind the washing and everything. <laughs> um, but yay, so we've got a little place to sit down. Love it. All right, Beanie, you ready for bed on the couch? Bed on the couch. <laughs> bed on the couch. Bed on the couch was from uh, Sophie and Dave ages ago, actually. <laughs> um, <laughs> they do bed on the couch, which is basically where you get your duvet and then you watch TV or a film from bed on the couch. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, we're just going to chill, try and de-stress a little. And I hope all of you aren't feeling too anxious as well. Um, but if you are, know that we are too. And I think a lot of people are feeling anxious so don't be you know embarrassed that you're feeling anxious because it's definitely a worldwide feeling so yeah know that 
everyone is also in the same boat and um, yeah we'll get through it but I hope that you can find a bit of escapism in films or you know hobbies indoor hobbies that you love um yeah and just try and uh, de-stress as much as you can but it is very very difficult so now we're just gonna watch some ratatouille ratatouille i look forward to the scene where that uh lady goes crazy oh yeah i've only watched it once you know <laughs> so i can't remember it all <laughs> so we've moved we went from bed on the couch to the actual oh, bed <laughs> <laughs> we got sidetracked because we're working on something aren't we little yeah. little project something that i started working on yesterday I got my drawing pad out for the first time in pff, don't know how many months <laughs> no no not that long i don't think um but yeah hopefully we'll have something to say on that soon but um we're gonna watch ratatouille now <laughs> do you know what time i've got to get up no i don't know <laughs> half four <laughs> no you didn't tell me this <laughs> so my uh, shifts change every week uh some weeks you do an 11 hour shift some weeks you do a 10 hour shift uh, this week I am doing 7 o'clock in the morning until 4 o'clock in the afternoon. So yeah, I gotta get up early. <laughs> oh boy, you better get to bed then. <laughs> so, uh, we will see you in the next video. Good night. Bye guys. <laughs> Bye.